Welcome back to Tempest Rising. If you're a fan of Command & Conquer, you're going to love this game. There's a new demo out right now you can play, and I've featured this game before, and it had a few missions, but now it's got even more in the demo, so we're going to give it a go. Let's go! that several nuclear warheads have detonated across the continent. Prepare as the world braces for the inevitable retaliation to the... Both the United States and Soviet Union have called for a ceasefire just days after the... Left to pick up the pieces. Great swathes of land across Eurasia, most heavily affected by the fallout from the nuclear to vote by the Union of Allied Nations to ensure a conflict of this scale will never happen again. Range flesh-like vines. Group calling themselves a Tempest Dynasty have claimed responsibility for... More often in highly irradiated zones seem to be emerging from the Earth. like it it wanted to be the shape I think it was built for the tempest or maybe the other way around is there a way in well it appears to be laid out like a ziggurat show me uh-huh oh yes uh, yes yes follow me Holy cutscenes, Batman! We finally do some Tempest Dynasty missions, so let's do it. Welcome back, General. Command is pleased with your work. The Tempest you harvested will go a long way to fueling our cause. If you're going to be out there on the front lines, you should know more about it. The Tempest is more than a resource. That's how GDF sees it. But they are short-sighted. It is true power for everyone. Power that anyone can have. It came to us in our time of need. That's what our dynasty was founded upon. You actually got options in in, in the friggin' cutscenes. Like you can ask stuff. What is Tempest? Where did it come from? What does the GDF want with the Tempest? What Tempest. does? The Tempest is energy. Energy is money. It came to us. It grows on our land from our irritated soil cleansing it and providing us with clean energy with which to rebuild. The people almost lost everything to that fool's war, but we were blessed with this one gift. 
The GDF machine hungers for more fuel as it continues to expand across the globe. Okay, obviously, there's parallels. It's, it's basically CNC factions with slightly different names. It's Tiberian with a slightly different name. It's all the same. The music is by the same composer from the, uh, the classic Command & Conquers. EA own the license from, uh, from Westwood's masterpiece. So these guys have taken that, changed it ever so slightly to not be copyright infringement, and given us basically another blast of classic Command & Conquer. I mean, Tempest Rising. Let's, uh, let's not say Command & Conquer anymore, because then EA may be bursting through my window with a squad uh, SWAT team. Understood. Let's get you back out there. Got something a little different for you, General. A naval GDF task force is a little off course. They seem to have gotten lost in the Black Sea and ended up deep in Dynasty territory. I suppose that's what happens when their scopes can't find half of our bases. That being said, they've brought enough firepower to establish a small foothold. If I may make a recommendation, perhaps you should give them a map when you turn them out of our base. Good luck, General. Here we go. So on the mission ready screen, we've got Doctrine. And this is really a nice, unique uh, part of Tempest Rising here. It's kind of like this perk tree, if you like. It gives you different boosts, like better harvesters, better infantry, better explosives. Looks like we're given two points off the bat. Um, I'm always one for better harvesters that generally do more harvesting and more explosives. Well, who can turn that down? Armory is another thing. Again, it's kind of, it's upgrades. We've got $2,500 to spend here. And whatever we choose, we have to load into uh, the loadout over here. And there's a lot to choose from. And the little numbers next to these things basically represent how many slots they take up. So uh, if we were to say improved reliability here, we couldn't put the veteran crew on because there's not enough slots. We need to wait until we've unlocked more. So we can either have two one slot upgrades like that or well you guessed it one two slot upgrade like that let's go with the two like that so we get increased sight range and more durable uh, vehicles here i think that's going to be useful missions and codex are currently grayed out so we can't go into those but let's go ahead and deploy in our first mission a ddf naval sortie have captured one of our bases by the black sea a VIP stationed at this base guarantees he possesses information worth mounting a rescue mission. Reclaim the base and the Tempest, and secure the VIP. We will deny GDF intel at least, but if it is of no value to the Dynasty, you are authorized to deal with our VIP yourself. I'm loving these retro uh, interface graphics and stuff like that. It's it's very nostalgic. Let's go! Absolutely loves the cutscenes, doesn't it? The dynasty are here! Mind the bridge! Fall back! I put him on your command. They place anti tank mines on the bridge. If you cover us, we can desert them. We take it. Okay. Yes. So uh disarm the mines is zero of four. Pizier has intel on an informant who was stationed here when GDF attacked. We cannot allow GDF to take him. Reclaim the base and secure the VIP. Okay, so yeah, you set these engineers onto disarm mine. 
They'll actually do it automatically. Oh. Classic CNC throughout. They say classic CNC, classic RTS controls. You know, attack move is everything. <laughs> there we go. We've got some of this Tempest stuff here. Does this impact our infantry if we walk over it? Oh, they've got drones. Oh look, my engineers actually repair tanks. That's really cool. Although somehow I've managed to lose two of them. Okay, we've got some weird vehicle up ahead. Prisoner secured. Let's move. VIP sighted. All right. Let's go and liberate him. I don't know, we're doing all right. Ha! <laughs> 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 Too heavily defended my ass. Yes, General. I understand. GDF has stolen our research from the properties of the Tempest. Destroy the data core to deny them access to our data. Save the tank! Alright. Now it's time to fall back. I've never seen a tank so weak against infantry before. <laughs> Come on! No problem. They're locating them. Right. Of course. They see and understood. I understand. I've only got one tank left. Maybe going in there was not such a good idea. <laughs> Let's press on. My one tank against this lot. We may actually fail the first mission, guys. Entirely possible. All tempest you see is yours. Deploy it in your base to start harvesting. General, Men. strike the power plant to keep our base power in the green. 
Reinforcements! <laughs> We're gonna come in a bit of time. What is this anyway? Concrete wall. Construction complete. Lovely. Absolutely delightful. Primary Bingo. Our power plants keep base structures online and provide a large construction footprint. Construct now, construct a machine shop near a power plant and we can put distribution mode to work. Yes! Excellent! With one tank, I can conquer everything. No big deal. Alright. Deploy refinery. Well done, boys. Could really use a medic. It's all very well, you know, keeping all the tanks alive, but we're not keeping the troops alive. F the troops. They kind of hold their ground. I was about to say, I, I kind of hate the fact that they don't hold their ground, but they kind of do, I suppose. Why is it telling me where to build things? That's irritating. I don't need my hand held that much. build a radar station and we can locate the spy. Our machine shops are the workhorse of the Dynasty Army. With multiple Blame machine turrets. shops enhanced by our power plant's distribution modes, we vastly outproduce the enemy. Is there a rocket somewhere? Acknowledged. Let's go. Let's go. That is a little crazy. Oh yes, power distribution mode. I almost forgot. Try it out and watch the sparks fly. Unit ready. Power distribution mode. Allied structures in a small area will attack and or produce units more quickly. It will take damage over time. Up to two power plants can stack this effect into any building with critical damage. Wow, okay. You basically sacrifice your buildings to build things faster. So we get three, four of these lined up. Then we go power distribute mode. I can't. I, I, it doesn't let me do it. Maybe I need more power plants. My troops are very eager to go and throw themselves into death. They really are. Right, power distribution mode is activated. Fully charged. With this power, all production buildings go into overdrive. However, it comes with small fire risk. We've got to repair the buildings. ready. <laughs> Flame tower. Nice. Insufficient funds. Small fire risk, they say. That is not a small fire risk. <laughs> the entire station's on funds. <laughs> melting. It's melting. My right, radar's up. Accomplished. We've traced the VIP to a GDS stronghold in the south. It looks like they're preparing to evacuate. We can't lose the informant. Lay mines. Secondary objective accomplished. Ah, they killed my engineer. And a bunch of a holes. Good job, I got two more. All right, let's go. Here we go. I Unit ready. Unit ready. Insufficient funds. Unit ready. Oh my god. These things kick ass. Insufficient funds. Fire. 
Ja. Okay, so I can't capture that. Unit building cap our base is building captured. Alright, we're gonna sell that. Go get that. Destroy that. Nice. Boom. Tech center destroyed. Whoops. Heck, not hatched. So if I build a Tempest rig, maybe I build a couple of Tempest rigs here. Yeah, look at these cheeky little devils coming in here, are they? Eh? Uh, I wonder if I could build another little outpost base over here. You guys lock this down. I want to build one over here. And... I don't know if I should build one over there or not. I think we're going to know where the enemy is coming from. I think they're just coming from everywhere, aren't they? Unit yeah, look, they're coming from that direction as well. No, I can't build around these rigs. I don't know how I'm supposed to, like, extend my base. If you know what I mean. If I even can. I think I've just got to defend it with units then. Training. Okay, so I'm trying to hold positions here where they're coming from. I don't know, they're coming from over here somewhere. I'm sending another rig down here to this Tempest field here. I'm just I've got to have so much freaking money. These guys are going to defend those guys. I've got all these dudes here. It could be valuable to keep our tanks in working order. <clears throat> our Tempest Rig is under attack. Oh boy. They can't get through here. So this rig is getting beaten up. Ah, uh, damn it. I thought I could get through that. Yeah, I realized that. Thank you. These guys are getting their asses kicked over here. Kill that. Unit ready. Oh, okay. Sneaky way around. Our Tempest Rig is under attack. When you think they're dead and they're not. Go back, go back, because they're attacking everywhere. Alright, let's go. So many fronts to keep track of. Thing is, I wish they would either get run over or come from a base. And they don't. They seem to be just... Oh my gosh. Okay. You guys good? You guys need to come down here. Bin that one. This one's being repaired. You guys need to reinforce those guys. I need another tank. Over here. Another bunch of infantry. <laughs> Try and escort that guy. These guys are guarding there. Now I have some heavy armor here. Unit ready. Okay. Wow. This is just a first mission. Unit ready. Let's push on. I understand. 
I need some kind of anti-infantry vehicle. The GDF seems to have anti-infantry vehicles. I don't. They've got anti everything is anti-armor. Which means these guys are shooting from elevated positions. I can't see them. That's interesting. This is messy, dude. This is messy. Unit ready. I was hoping that the havoc, lost. the havoc is something you can um, load with infantry, right? Oh, First, hello. Cutscene. Tracking movement to your east. It looks like they're preparing for an airlift on the other side of that bridge. I've got you authorization for the mine drop support. Unit ready. Ready. Taking position. Crash it. Oh, GDF definitely out of the coolest toys. Look at the freaking gates and towers and walls and all this stuff, man. Oh my god, this is rough. My units are all going to die all at the same time. And this is Let's move. mind drop. The VIP is on the move. Disable that vehicle. Don't let it leave. All right, I'm doing my best. I can set up here. Oh, this. Turn it. Damn. Intercept taking a hit. Unit ready. On your command. Secondary objective accomplished. Take your position. Where is it gone? It's gone along here, yeah? Yes. Unit ready. Fire. Yes, we are airdropping reinforcements to the south. Victory! Somehow! <laughs> that was so messy! <laughs> Alright, I love that there's basically no tactics. <laughs> it's just like, bum rush as many units as you can into the area. That is just so classy and see. Let's be honest though, let's, that's what it's all about! Just overwhelm your economy and just build a dirty units. Let's go! Uh, recover the salvage van is the only thing I wasn't able to do, and I just got some forces there as well. So that's a shame I didn't get that one, but uh, everything else I got, so almost perfect. Almost perfect performance. <laughs> got loads of data here. Credits gained 56,000, double what they had. Oh, a graph. Love me a graph. That's going to be great during multiplayer as well. A little comparison and stuff like that. Let's go. Thanks for playing the Tempest Rising demo. We'd love to hear some feedback. Just the one Tempest Dynasty mission, but it gives you a really good sense of the gameplay. I want to see more. I really want to see more and I want to play more. I really do. And I hope you guys want to see some more. So thank you very much for watching today. I really hope you enjoyed this look. Another look at Tempest Rising. I'm really looking forward to this game. Uh, demos available on Steam. Play it now for free. Make sure you wish the game if you're interested as well. Let the developers know how excited we all are. Um, but as always, thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.